Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Your probs already heard, we have a new format for Magic. Pioneer. Ooh, everyone's excited, everyone's talking about it. So let's have a little discussion and breakdown of what this could mean and what's it about. So, Pioneer could be described like the new modern or mega standard if you will. Um, it was announced in the new article on Wizard's own website by the writer of Blake Rasmussen. He talks about the need of modern, where it came from and how it kind of relates to Pioneer. So like, Modern was originally for players who weren't ready for their standard decks to the side for the next meta. They wanted to keep them, evolve them into something more, and that's where Modern came from. But the first Modern set was 8th edition from 03, which is 16 years ago now, and that's like over 65 sets, don't quote me on that one. Um, but with that many sets and more always entering the format, it kind of feels like a big old mess, and some people don't like that, it's getting a lot now. But then, me personally, I do like that because it breeds creativity and diverse and you get cool metas. Um, of course, more dominant decks always surface to the top. So, Pioneer will be starting from Return to Ravnica. So, think of it as like a chopped down modern or a lot bigger standard. So, it's starting from Return to Ravnica to current sets, always standard. So, noting things like Battle Bombs and Conspiracy it do not count. Um, it will have the same rules, life points, tick building rules and that as standard and modern. But at the beginning, we've only got five bannings. The fetch lands from Khans are being banned out the gate. I can't understand this decision because if you've got shock lands from both the Ravnica sets here in the Pioneer format, plus fetch lands, you can have three five color land bases so easily, no problem. Um, so I guess they're trying to limit that a bit. Plus, we don't need another format where fetch lands are a must have that will just jack up the price even higher. Um, but then you've got to think if that's all they're banning, what about things like Aetherworks Marvel, Dig Through Time, Death Rate Shaman? They're all going to be legal again in another format people can play with. I reckon they'll get banned pretty quick though, because they often do, they're that good of a card. So we'll have to see, it will enable some real spicy plays at the beginning. So something I've noticed with them picking Return to Ravnica, Return to Ravnica was the point where Wizards and Co's ramped up production, like the print runs, like through the roof. A lot of people describe it from going from the Silver Age to the Bronze Age in terms of quality. Um, a lot of cards from back then have had a hard time keeping their value because there's just too many out there. Unless they find a home in Modern, they don't really retain any value. Um, and of course, these sets don't have mad power creep. Well, there is power creep still existing, but we won't have things like New Frexia or OG Zendikar sets where we had massive Eldrazi or Praetors running around, like creatures of unbelievable power. So it's a lot more reined in. Now, there are a lot of cards from Return to Ravnica and onwards, like I mentioned, that don't have much value just because they don't see modern play. If they don't find a home, they become the 50 cent jank rares that just sit in a bin. But this could breed some life back into the old cards, like old standard metas can become a little bit improved and develop into their own deck type essentially and my god this is only reinforced by a secondary market you look at it right now it's just a blaze of people speculating trying to work out what cards to buy what decks will take off um we'll have a quick look here on mtg stocks so yeah the secondary market this is in response to pioneer um just on mtg stocks just a quick glance not the most accurate thing in the world but it gives you a good indication of what people are wanting to do Look at all the cards. Aetherworks Marvel, back up to $8.38 after it's banning. 600% growth. You've got Dig Through Time, Death Rite Shaman. You've got, well, uh, two printings of Dig Through Time there. Uh, Smuggler's Copter. <laughs> oh no, Blooming Marsh because of the color base people want to try. Um, another Death Rite Shaman. Jace Vince probably. Little Jace is very popular back in the day in Standard. Nearly got to $100 in Standard. It was that powerful. Um, the Gear Hog because it's just an absolute Standard Bomb. Um, Sahili, people are probably going to try the combo again. So you can see a lot of the big standard hitters back in the day are becoming popular again. And look at those price movements. Like we're talking 50 plus percent for interest. Ooh. So how will Pioneer go? It's going to be interesting. Testing should go up and running on MPGO as of today, the 23rd. Well, today for me, Australian. Um, and it will debut in the tour series of 2020, the 1st of February. So they'll actually start using it at tournaments, getting it out there. Um, and it is being supported by Wizards, it's being backed by them like Brawl was, so it should have some legs to stand on. As for you and I, just get started. See if your local shops want to run tournaments for it, or if you can get a group of players who want to have um, Pioneer format decks, see if you can try it. Um, compared to the other newest formats like Pauper, Frontier and Brawl, how does it stack up? Because that kind of would let you work out, will it make it, will it stand the test of time? Pauper was born out of a necessity. The increasing cost of competitive magic was getting too much, um, 
And that was the perfect answer. Commons only people, let's have fun. And Pauper is surprisingly a sweaty format. There's some real tryhard decks out there. Brawl or standard commander as you will, is heavily supported by Wizards to the point where they're actually making dedicated products for it. My only complaint is that some commanders are clearly better than others and obviously you're restricted to your standard rotation. So there are clearly decks which are just better than others, but it does work. Some people do like the idea of standard commander, mainly standard players, because they get a lot more use out of the cards. It does make sense in that regard. And you had things like Frontier. Pretty much dead at this point, it's not supported. I don't know anyone or hear of any players that still play Frontier. Maybe there's someone out there who's still doing it, not here in Australia or my end of town. Um, I think its biggest problem was it was restricted to Core 2015 and onwards. There wasn't that many sets you could play with, like it was slightly bigger standard at the time if you want. As for Pioneer, having a larger selection going right back to Return to Ravnica, I think could be its savings grace. It's quite a lot of sets to look at actually. It puts itself really between modern and standard, modern 1.5 if you want. Um, so it will attract people who are fed up of modern, like the real tryhard decks in there, or they don't like standards lack of diversity sometimes. It could be a really interesting mix. I'm excited for Pioneer. I think it creates more opportunities for um, brewers out there, content creators who can start making deck techs about it. Um, monetary value, obviously I would never invest in Bronze Age cards like from Turn to Africa on just not a good idea. But check your binders, check your bulk bins. You might have what you think is a janky 20, 50 cent rare. Might be a few bucks now. See what you can do. You might find some money there. Um, I think it'll be good. I'm excited. It just depends on how well the community takes to it. It could work. But then also you gotta think, there are some people there who have modern decks, which might be 100% legal for Pioneer right out the gate. So you could try and make decks that are legal in multiple formats now. We'll have to see. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm very interested to see what everyone thinks about it. Um, what do you think will be the best decks? Um, like we saw in MTG stocks, it looks like bugs going to be the thing. People are keen for it. Um, what do you want to build? And what are your worries or concerns about the new format? Let me know everything down below. I'll be reading them. So yeah, have a good one guys, catch you later. Alrighty, it's that time of the video where we can do a bit of a shameless plug. So thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, please sub and like. It really does help the channel's analytics out a lot. Maybe consider joining me on my other social platforms where you can talk about anything and everything magic related. And special thank you to our patrons. They make the channel what it is. These guys are the building blocks for Mana Down Under. They support the channel in many ways. And if you'd be interested in supporting the channel, links are down below and at the end of the video. Thank you guys.